What up everybody, Max Rich for Intersect TV, and this is True Fan Boxing. In the studio today we have True Fan's own Jay Monty. Jay, the boxing world's mourning the loss of 104-year-old Joe Rolino. Yes, Max, Joe Rolino, who boxed under the name Kid Dundee in the 1920s, a Brooklyn legend, was killed January 11th when he was hit by a car after buying his morning newspaper. That's kind of ironic considering he was known as Coney Island Strongman. And the Coney Island Strongman he was. In his heyday, he weighed only 150 pounds, but he lifted 475 pounds with his teeth, 635 pounds with his finger, and 3,200 pounds with his back. Wow. As a matter of fact, Max, I was fortunate enough to be the last guy to interview Joe Rolino in July of 2009. So, to honor Joe, we thought it would be a nice idea to replay Jay Monty's interview with the late Joe Rolino. Hi, I'm Jay Monty with True Fan Boxing. I'm here with a young gent, Joe Rolino. Joe, it's a nice day. How are you? Not bad at all. How about you? Good. Uh, how old are you, Joe? I'm 104 years of age. Fantastic. When's your birthday? March 19, 1905. I wanted to ask you, how did you get into the boxing world? I started boxing in the, in the 14th Regiment in Brooklyn. That's on 8th Avenue and 15th Street. My neighborhood kids, they didn't know I was a fighter. They didn't know, they didn't know I was a strong man. Because I wouldn't tell them anything. Come on, hey Joe, hang out with us. I said, I don't hang out with hoodlums. Now, I was 17 years old. I was a welterweight. They put me against middleweights, light heavyweights. But you see, I already was a strong kid a strong man performing feats of strength. They didn't realize how strong I was. Uh -huh. I can pick him up by the armpits and just throw him out, out of the ring. Wow. And I used to make them hit me in the stomach, you know, the best punches they had. And I look at them, is that all you got? And I used to throw my famous left hook and right cross. And that was the end of that fighter. I won over 90 fights, knockouts. Nobody want to fight me no more. Now, I, I believe you're from Red Hook, Book. Oh, yeah, South Brooklyn. And uh, the featherweight champion, uh, Eddie Cannonball Martin. Eddie Cannonball, he was, he was a good friend of mine. We, we worked on the waterfront together. Eddie and I, you know, we used to work on the docks. He used to say, hey, Joe, come on, let's go a couple of rounds. Eddie says, please, I says, <laughs> you're a nice guy. He says, you're a little older than me a couple of years. I says, if I hit you once, this will be all over with, I says. <laughs> As I'm still a strong man, you realize what my hands are like? They're deadly hands. See these fingers? These fingers hold the world's record in picking up weights. Nobody in this whole world ever picked up much weight as I did, 635 pounds. We used to lift the dumbbell. It's in York, Pennsylvania. It's still today, it belongs to me. It weighs 2,130 pounds. I used to lift that 75 times consecutive repetitions in less than one hour. And of course, back then in the vaudeville age of the 20s, uh, being a strong man was a very big thing. It was a, a great thing. It was incomparable to other people. Like, uh, people didn't go to the movies. They could come, come to Coney Island and see the strongest man in the world. Right. Describe Coney Island in the 1920s. Coney Island was a, the mecca of the world. The mecca of the world. There was no place like Coney Island. Forget about Paris, California, all this garbage. You know, everybody came to Coney Island. The horse and wagon days, the carriage trades, all these big places, Steeple Chase, Raven Hall, Bushman's Bass, Oriental Bass. In those days we had vaudeville right on the Surf Avenue. We had all these side shows. Who played down there in those days was Jimmy Durante, Clayton Jackson, Eddie Cantor. George Jessel, they, uh, they worked on the barriers, characters. Joe, we could sit here and talk all day. Well, I, 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 can, I can talk for hours, I know, but because I have the endurance and the capacity of talking. I know you do, See, but I don't. I know you don't, because you're <laughs> young yet. yet. I'm too, you, too young for you, Joe. When you hit my age, you, you get the inner brain is, is <laughs> still growing in me yet. Fantastic. I still know things that a lot of people don't know. And it's a pleasure, pleasure meeting you. But we have to do one thing. We've got to come back on your 105th birthday well, next year, and we're going to do this again. We'll do it again because <laughs> you're going to live to be at least in your 90s. For True Fan Boxing, <laughs> I'm Jay Monty. Be there yep. in the square. Take care. Joe Rolino, truly one of a kind. On behalf of Intersect TV, we would like to extend our condolences to Joe's family. For Jay Monty, I'm Max Rich. 
We'll see you next time. <laughs>